Hello everybody, my name is Lance and I'm from VR here, Virtual Reality Experience Center in Liverpool. In this video I would like to do an overview of commercial edition of Half-Life Alyx. It's actually no different to a normal consumer edition of Half-Life Alyx. I know how to use it best in commercial settings. I would look at the levels and chapters which are probably best suited to someone who didn't play VR before and would just like to experience Alyx and play some more um, you know, action based levels and as well as a look at the controllers and how to enable the full loadout uh, for the players that uh, did not go through the whole game. So well, I will go into the VR now and I will show you what have been created so far. Also in the links you will be able to find all our previous episodes of the gameplay as well as all the uh, other headsets that have been tested with Half-Life Alyx which is Valve Index and uh, Windows Mixed Reality headset. Um, I'm not using Index for this movie because most of the experience centers that do have virtual reality would use Vive Pro, so we are using Vive Pro here with a normal controllers, Vive controllers. So going into VR now, we have a, starting with a new game. I created two games in a slot 0 and slot 1, one which is for arms race, uh, which is really action heavy, and one for Revelations, which is also action heavy. Um, so looking at those two, we're going to go back, games, slot zero, arms race, and you can see here we have reloading all, all weapons enabled and gold mod off. Uh, so this is what I've made for this game, and later on I will show you how to enable God Mode and how to enable all the other guns um, if you would like to use them. Um, also, you will be able to find in a section on the description of this video uh, the saves for uh, Arms Race and uh, Revelations and how to get them installed. So here we go straight into battle. Uh, the only thing that user will have to do is teleport himself downstairs, which he will do with a trackpad or she will do with a trackpad. Uh, they have also a quick, quick overview of how the reloading works. With the game, with the magazines being here, they shoot the barrel, they can use the controls, and they can kill themselves if they do what I just did. Uh, hopefully they don't. Uh, the game starts straight into, into quite a immersive and intensive battle. So you have the soldiers here. And as you can see, Oh, this was not good. And as you can see, we have the our oh, they throwing grenades, left, light, and center at us. Because this is on a hard mode. They're quite good at throwing grenades all over the place. So we need to be quick moving around. There is a grenade somewhere, and we are almost dead. He's gonna blow himself. He's dead too. Now we have the big guy to contend with, and we don't have any grenades, so uh, might be a bit of a challenge. And we are dead. But this is a good combat scenario for the customers to go through. So now we're going to just go back in here. You can see that that's what the setup is. We're just reloading. I'm going to back to load screen in menu. And into second slot. 
which is called slot one, because there is slot zero, slot one, so this will be a second slot. And this one's called Revelations. And again, we're starting with a full loadout, so we have uh, all the guns, all the upgrades, everything that you can have, and extra resin. So it's always worth to just top up your gun. This one's fully loaded, this one's too, so um, we're good to go. So up there, our friends from Combine are also shooting those lions, hunt lions. Another benefit of using those saves is that your customers would have the guidance on how to reload. Hello everyone, so this is a part where I will show you how to enable the cheats on Half-Life and how you can uh, then adjust those cheats and uh, where the files are and what the save files look like. Um, so the, to start off we need to go to uh, Steam and we will need to click on properties and set launch options and ensure those two are there. So dash console and dash V console. It will enable the console. Um, and the console can be activated by the console key, which is up here. So you need to press that to get the console running. And you need to, as I said, make sure that in properties, in the launch options, those are already enabled. And then if you're already in a game, you have to enable the cheats. <laughs> so you need to press SV, Sierra Victor, underscore, cheats, space, one. And this will enable the cheats. And then you can enable all the additional options, like in a God mode. You can enable God, and you press God mode, and it is off. You press God, it is on. It was on, because I was just playing. And I have it easy. There is another variation of the uh, God mode called Buddha, which will allow you to um, get your health um, damaged, but it will not kill you. And you can change it by Buddha space one, uh, Buddha zero would change it to zero. The other cheats that are also available is Impulse 102. It will give you the full loadout, so you get all the guns with all the upgrades, straight away, boom. You don't need any resin, just like that, nice and easy. And another one which is uh, which can be quite helpful for some customers is SV Infinite Ammo. And if you change that variation to 1, that means the customer doesn't have to reload, the ammo is just shooting. Which for some people would be easy, for some it would be, uh, would be missing the important game mechanic. So if you want to, people to play without worrying about looking for ammo, there's another thing you can do, and you can change to SV underscore infinite clips. You can change that to one. And then instead of having, um, you know, unlimited clip, which means you're shooting forever, you can change your magazines, you can change your clips, but you will have unlimited storage of them, so you wouldn't have to look for it. And you can also change those to zero. You can see it's one now. Zero. You can double check if it worked. 
and it is zero now. So this is all correct if you want to have a more challenging gameplay. What I also did, I created some saves uh, which are already I'll put the uh, links on them to Google Drive and you can access them on the YouTube description. And those links, uh, those, those saves would get you straight into the arms race, into the moment when you're shooting combine. And also in the S01, they will get you to the part where you are shooting combine and ant lions in the revelations. They also have those those pictures which are telling the customer what's going on. So they will have reloading all, all weapons, but gold mode is off. Additional thing, which is good to know in the personal settings here, you're able to change a um, couple of things. So settings skill, you can change it to two or one. This is, you need to make sure that this file has been enabled as a notepad file. And I hope uh, you find all this helpful um, and in commercial settings, could be quite useful. Um, the console is accessible uh, from the computer while people are in, so you can uh, you can enable them additional guns, or you can enable gold mode for them, or you can disable um, as they play. So so as long as you remember to make sure that SV cheats here is changed to one, you can check it is one. Yes, it's one, and that you have those launch a variable set up in Steam then uh, you'll be able to access that and hopefully uh, yeah that will make it a bit easier it is a brilliant game it's just a bit hard for someone who just have half an hour an hour to enjoy it so instead you can just uh, let them have a quick cheat and uh, that would that would hopefully uh, let them see the game and uh, experience all the weapons without getting killed and reloading every five minutes